and welcome back to another week with Dala Creative TV. I make these Protea flowers with recycled um, flower bags. They are very popular and I've made over 400 flowers this year. And it got me thinking. So I've also made them in a variety of colors like blues and orange and pinks. And I even made King Proteas. During my research, I saw that you get so many different species of proteas. I was amazed at the beautiful varieties you get at my recent visit to Kirstenbos Gardens in Cape Town. And during my recent visit, I saw the most beautiful, beautiful yellow pincushion proteas. I took some pictures of this beautiful yellow flower that came from a garden in Stellenbosch. I recently started redecorating our house and I have this most beautiful, beautiful yellow fabric with a protea print on it. I decided to use this fabric for blinds for the kitchen. So I am going to make these beautiful pincushion proteas to put in the kitchen. So to make my flowers, I am going to play with Dala's craft bits and pieces today. I will use the, the polystyrene egg shapes to create the crown for my flower. To make the pins or needles, I will use um, some of the dollar wire. This is a packet of red metallic wire, um, which I'm not going to open because I do have um, normal silver wire. Then I'm also going to use the cork sheets to create the leaves for the flowers. I want to use um, the cork sheets because the thickness resembles the um, size of the leaves um, of the real flower. I will just paint it green. We also need um, some of Dollar's amazing styrofoam glue. I'm going to use gel medium. And then I am going to use the flow acrylic medium to dip my flowers in to resemble the beautiful, smooth, plasticky look and feel that you get from the real flower and I am going to create a mustardy yellow um, for my flowers um, to match the curtains that or the blinds that I'm going to make. Now I've never done this before and I'm not sure exactly how everything will fall into place so I might swap mediums or paints um, during my process depending on uh, my intuition that I always follow when I create new things. So let's start with um, painting the cork sheets and making the leaves. <music> painted both sides green and I am ready to cut out the leaves. I am not going to worry too much about exact measurements. I am just going to loosely cut and um, shape the leaves for the flowers. the cork into strips and I am just going to cut loosely around it to create similar shapes. And I am using craft 
soft scissors to cut the top of the leaf so that it looks like the real flower. To make the needles, I've just cut wire to size and I glued a bead to the tip with the styrofoam glue. For four flowers, I cut 160 wires and glued beads to it. It is a time consuming process, but it is well worth it. So before I assemble the flowers, I am going to use the sticker wire that I covered with florist tape um, for the stem and I am going to glue this um, into the polystyrene egg shape at the bottom. Okay, so I am ready to insert the needles into the styrofoam or polystyrene shapes and I am going to do that by putting some styrofoam glue on the tip and then just push it into the egg shape. I randomly insert them until I am satisfied that I have enough needles to create a beautiful flower. Approximately 40, but I did not count. This is also a very long process, so I'm not going to let you watch me do this forever and ever and ever. And I will be back when I finished all four flowers. Okay, so the needles have dried and I am ready to dip them into the paint as soon as I've mixed it. Okay, so I am ready to mix um, my paint with the acrylic flow medium. I got the idea to use the flow medium when I recently did some pouring videos and realized that the flow medium allows the paint to move around slowly and because it's a glue based medium I am pretty sure that it is going to stick to my needles and drip off slowly to create the effect that I want. I've also decided to instead of the acrylic paint use the yellow chalk paint that I have in my cupboard. This yellow um, resembles the color of the actual flower and I am just going to mix it with a little green to create the color that is closest to my fabric. I will also dilute it a little bit with water to make it more flowy. I am just going to mix um, some acrylic paints into the yellow until I get this mustardy yellow color. I sometimes use a blender to mix my paints. And this is not my kitchen blender, I have a dedicated blender for my studio. So it is safe to eat a cake um, at my house that I've baked. I am just going to add a little bit of green and white until I'm happy with the color. And this is just perfect. Okay, so I am going to add the pouring medium 
and mix it thoroughly with the paint before I am going to dip the flowers. Again, like with acrylic pouring, the consistency is everything. I don't want it to be too thick that the flower petals or the needles um, remain behind in the paint. And I also don't want it too flowy because then all the paint will just run off. Okay, so I'm ready to dip the flower. Nervous and exciting and um, let's see how it goes. Oh my goodness, this is just perfect. It is exactly what I anticipated it would be. This is just marvelous. I love this stuff. Just look at this. Now you have another project that you can use your flow medium for. You don't have to just use it for pouring. Okay, so I am just going to um, insert it in this um, polystyrene base and I am going to dip the other flowers and I will be back just now. Okay, so I'm just using a brush to um, clean up the areas where it makes a little bit of a blob, but um, overall I am super excited about the way, about the way um, these turned out. And just look at them. I am really happy. Um, about um, what I was able to achieve today with the acrylic flow medium and the chalk paint. And I am now going to let these dry overnight and do the finishing touches in the morning. Okay, so the proteas are dry and I want to finish them. One thing that I've noticed is the fluff between the needles now i'm not a flower expert and i can't tell you um, exactly what it is but i can show you how to recreate it all i did was i used some fluffy wool and i just tied it um, and glued it with the gel medium between the needles all around the polystyrene ball just finish it off with the florist tape and then I am also going to um, glue down the um, base part with um, gel medium. Now I want to paint the base green and I want to use the last bit of um, green paint in my tube. I just cut off the um, top of the tube and I can use um, the paint that would not come out instead of just throwing it away. So 
now I am ready to um, glue the leaves on. I just want to make sure that the paint is dry and I will just speed up the process with my embossing tool. Okay, and I am, um, the way I'm attaching the leaves is to glue two leaves at a time with the glue gun and then to finish it off with the florist tape before I continue um, with the next um, two leaves. This part of making the flowers is also time consuming, but it is um, worth the patience and the time you put in because at the end you will have beautiful decorative flowers that you can use um, in your house. Because of the drying times of the paints and mediums and the effort to make the needles, this project took me three days to make, but it was well worth it and I really enjoyed it and I hope that you will share your Pincushion Prutia flower photos with us on Facebook. See you next week. Bye for now.